Hello there! Wow! Perfect! Wonderful! Well done! Okay! What's up everybody, the Nintendo Beast here. And today I'm jumping into a game that I have not done any videos for yet, uh, Mario Strikers Battle League here on the Nintendo Switch. Um, so I did, I did videos for the demo, uh, I did the online playtest, all that stuff before launch. Then the game launched, and uh, it kind of launched at the same time that I began my hiatus, so I never really got a chance to create any content for it here on the channel. So I want to do that today, but beyond that, um, I feel like it released and it was, like, its lifespan was just very short-lived. I feel, I know a lot of people in, in uh, the Nintendo Beast Discord server, which, if you're not part of it, <laughs> why not? Jump in there. Uh, join the discourse in Discord. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like a lot of people uh, really are mad at it. Uh, there's a, there's a, a significant noticeable lack of content in the game, uh, which is pretty disappointing, but I don't know, I don't know if I would go as far as to say that there's any less content than in previous Mario Strikers games. It's kind of about what I expected. Um, with that said, people who are unfamiliar necessarily with Mario Strikers, I, I can understand why you'd be like, this is a $60 game. Uh, and there's, like, no content to it. I understand that. Um, do I feel like maybe it should have been a cheaper game for the amount of content that's actually in it? Maybe. Uh, I mean, I'm never, I'm never gonna be opposed to paying less for a game, obviously. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, I feel like every game should be either free or, like, $9.99. So we're just gonna jump into some cup battles here. Uh, I'm gonna jump into the regular, the normal cup battles. Uh, I've already completed all the cup, the normal cup battles. Um, but just to get warmed up, I haven't played in a while. And I don't want to jump into a galactic cup and just get completely destroyed right away. Um, so let me get my, uh, my dream team in here. Captain's always Bowser. I don't really dabble with, uh, gear all that much. Rosalina, always the MVP. Uh, Wario number three and then back on D we need a speed demon we get peach um, I haven't used Daisy or uh, shy guy yet so I'll have to give them a try uh, go with the magicians avoid I avoid green especially because Rosalina's on my team I avoid the green jerseys and the light blue jerseys um, strictly because with Rosalina specifically uh, if both team has a Rosalina it can get very confusing the green and the, the light green and the light blue jerseys kind of look similar, and her with her regular light blue turquoisey whatever get up, her leggings and her uh, armings. I don't know. I don't know what you want to call it, but uh, yeah, it's it is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna go. These stadiums don't matter at all. It's it's frustrating that they don't matter at all. Um, you can get. If they want to roll out updates infinitely and give us more and more, uh, like, arenas, go for it. But it's meaningless to me. It's lost on me. I wouldn't even download the update if I didn't have to. Like, it's it's stupid. They don't do anything. Uh, which is one of the major things I feel like was lost. I'm going to try to... This is going to give me... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... This is going to be my hot take on this game. My overall review of Mario Strikers Battle League. Um, I think courses... I, I want to keep calling it courses because I just recorded a Mario Kart video, but um, the uh, the arenas I feel like are completely nerfed. It, it's don't even bother asking me, you know, like what course, what what arena. Um, it doesn't it doesn't contribute to the gameplay at all. Like Mario Strikers uh, charged on the Wii, the most recent Mario Strikers game before Battle League. Um, if you recall, correct. If you recall, the arena that you played in was very dynamic, and it played a part in how the game played out. There might be, you know, a tornado that goes through and throws a cow across the uh, across the field, and you have to watch out to not get hit by the cow. Or if somebody tackles you on certain uh, in certain arenas, instead of just getting electrocuted against the wall, 
you might fly off the course, and you might be down a player for however however long. Um, and that's an element that was completely lost in this game, which is disappointing. MVP, Rosalina. Let's talk about it. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah! She's the greatest. She's like a strong... She should be a strong and slow character, based on her stats, but she's really not all that slow. Like, she's not as sluggish as, say, like, Bowser or Donkey Kong. She's just overall MVP. Um, but yeah, I think it was a major missed opportunity. Crap. Uh, doing the, the arenas like they did in this game. I think this game offers a lot more finesse, obviously. Uh, as opposed to previous games in the Mario Strikers franchise. Ooh! Dip me there. Like, it feels like this game could very easily be an eSport. Uh, with the skill that actually goes into playing it now. But, at the same time, I think the lack of content scared a lot of people away from it. Uh, the game only came out a couple of months ago. I'm trying to remember the actual release date. Uh, it was not... It did not survive long. We'll say that. Um, it didn't survive long as, like, a popular... Ah, blew it. I always blow that. Anyway, let's get a, uh... Let's get a nice strike in here off of Wario. I'm trying to think. Yeah, so, as far as, uh, I'm not a big fan of these strikes either, to be completely honest. Oops. That was almost embarrassing. I kept passing it instead of shooting it. It was a cool little, uh, dipsy doodle I got there. And we gave Peach the, uh, the goal there. But, yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of, I, I liked... I thought the Mario Strikers Charged uh, maneuver was awesome. Like how you had to use the Wii Remote to block the shots, and it was very Wii. Uh, I feel like this... I don't know, it doesn't really add anything. And some of the animations I think are kind of stupid. Oh, that was almost a nice deflection off of Bowser. In, in single player mode like this, the cup battles, I have a lot of fun playing. Uh, and it's very obvious that the game is very reliant on the assumption that you're going to go online and have fun playing online multiplayer. Here's the reason why I can't play online multiplayer. It's very simple. I suck. Okay? I am not the sweatiest gamer on the internet. And because of that, I'm not even close to being the sweatiest gamer on the internet. Right? Despite having a YouTube channel and, you know, playing games like, every day, uh, to some extent. Um, oops. I I'm not even close to being one of the sweatiest gamers on the internet, okay? And I feel like this game, as opposed to previous Mario Strikers games, I feel like this game, I would be pretty competitive, uh, if it was just, like, me and a bunch of friends, like, couch co-op. But I feel like online multiplayer, especially now that the game isn't as popular as it was at launch. I played a little bit of multiplayer uh, during the online playtests, and it felt very balanced. It, I had a lot of fun doing it. The video is up on my channel. Um, then the game launched, and the first couple of days I had a lot of fun playing it uh, online, but it wasn't very long before the game online just became extremely sweaty. And, and I can, I can't say it's it's guaranteed that it's still that way, but I'd imagine it probably is pretty similar still, especially now that it's not as popular. So you have less casual players playing, and you have more people who have been playing it since day one and are heavily invested in it and don't want to give it up, you know, just due to lack of content or whatever. A lot of people I know, they gave up the game, they traded in the game, they just stopped playing it generally. Uh, because of the lack of content. And I can't blame them. I like playing online, or, uh, regular multiplayer, like couch multiplayer. 
I, I never, once the game launched, a couple days into it, I just couldn't get behind mul online multiplayer anymore. I'm, it's just too sweaty for me. Uh, and, like, I play Splatoon. I play, uh... Oh, come on, baby, get it, get it, get it, get him! I... Mm, angry. All right. Well, this could be bad. I don't think it was a perfect shot, though, so if anything, it would be a one... A one-pointer, right? Button mash, button mash. There we go. Send it. No! No! Okay, well, at least it was only one goal. All right, we're only up by one. We gotta, we gotta concentrate here. Um, get out of here, toads. Get out of here, toads. All right, 15 seconds. We just gotta hold on for 15 seconds. Maybe even put another one in the net. Ah! Yeah, throw that butt ball. Ah! Ooh! At least I got the shot off. Alright, so a big W for the first one. So, like, yeah, like, I have a lot of fun playing multiplayer. Like, the cup, the cup battles and whatnot. Uh, and I haven't even completed the Galaxy... The Galactic Cup battles? Galaxy Cup battles? Whatever they are. Uh, I haven't even completed them yet because they are actually extremely hard. Uh, those get pretty sweaty. It's funny because the normal cups are so easy... And then you go, it, it literally is going like from 0 to 100. Just from the last regular cup, which is whatever this is, the championship cup, uh, to the first of the galaxy cups, or the galactic cups. It just, it literally does just go 0 to 100, which is pretty wild. Um, but I also like the cup battles ex especially uh, because it doesn't make you reselect your team between every game. Quick battles, it makes you do that. And that's extremely frustrating. Like, you can't... I feel like just for, you know... I don't know. Just as a quality of life update, they should make it so you can designate your favorite team structure. Uh, maybe you could do that online. I don't know. I, I Back when I played it, that wasn't an option. And you had to reconfigure your team. Both gear, both teammates, both everything about it. Uh, after every single match. Which was extremely frustrating and tedious, and it got it got old quick. Um, but yeah, send it, Rosalina. Peach on peach violence. Love to see it. Get the princesses kicking each other in the face. <laughs> oh, da Daisy's out here too. Get wrecked, Daisy. Ah! Rosalina! Send it! Ooh! Ooh, I don't like that! That's it. I've had enough of this... this malarkey. I think it's time to start scoring goals. I think that's where we're at. Ooh, there it is. Big boy Wario with it. I don't know if I said this yet. I really don't like uh, how Wario just kind of palms the ball and throws it. It is supposed to be a soccer-ish sport. And I think they say ish just because of the, the violence and everything that goes into it. That is obviously not legitimate to soccer. Uh, but... I also feel like just using your hands just all the time is like, that's literally the opposite of what soccer is. So that's kind of, I don't know. I was going to say, is, is Warrior going to be the, uh, the clutch player today? Get all the goals! Ah! Get out of here, Donkey Kong. <laughs> Just chilling there. Cherry picking. Puppy guarding, if you will. Ooh. 
Mm. Ah! Off the post. Brutal. Oh, no! No, no! Get out of here! You puppy guarding Donkey Kong. Send it, Rosalina. Come on, Rosalina! Dude! No! See, this is just bad. This is just bad programming. They're handing them the game. <laughs> ah! So I would say lack of content is definitely real. Uh, somebody even brought up, I think it was Waffle, probably in Discord. I have a lot of conversations with Waffle in Discord. And, uh, oh no. It was even brought up, like, why isn't there a story mode? And there's never been a story mode in any of the Mario Strikers games. Um, that doesn't mean in any way that there couldn't be, though, either. So, I would honestly, I would play the crap out of a story mode. In previous games, uh, the cup battles is actually how you unlock new playable characters, uh, which I always thought was pretty cool. Um, this game, all the playable characters kind of, you just kind of get them from the, from the jump, which I'm not mad at, per se. I need to get a goal right now. I need to focus. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God! No! No! Okay. No! Come on, baby! Freaking puppy guarding bow or uh, Donkey Kong. Golden goal, baby. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh no. Okay. Let's do it. Send it. No. Oh. oh my god. This is too much pressure, dude. This is golden goal nonsense. There it is, baby. Bowser for the big money victory. Whew. Yeah, it's getting sweaty up in here. It's getting a bit sweaty. Um, I can't say that I don't love this game, though. That's the reality. The content, the lack of content is for sure real. Uh, online multiplayer, last time I played it, it was not great. In that regard, like, I just, I suck. I can't, I can't go on there and act like I'm going to win anybody or win against anybody. And when you're constantly losing, it's not fun. I mean, like, even in other games, uh, Mario Kart, I'm bad, but if I can, I can jump into a certain lobby and I might beat a couple people. You know what I mean? Like, you can end up middle of the pack and you still want to keep playing because you're having fun. You can't go into 1v1 matches like this and just lose all the time and have any kind of fun. Um, and I feel like that's where I was at with online multiplayer. And that kind of, that's always to some extent, where I'm at. And that's that's why I don't like Battle Royale games, for the most part. Because once you're out, you're out. And, like, there is no... Like, yeah, you can you could be not the first person dead, but that's still the end. It's not really that fun. Um, I prefer team-based uh, multiplayer games when I play multiplayer games, I should say. Um, yeah, I think as far as characters go, I don't know if I said this yet, uh, and I apologize if I'm being redundant now. But I feel like as far as char new characters go, I just don't see the need for it. I mean, I appreciate it. I appreciate it strictly because... Um, crap. When you get into matches like this, and the team configurations are so similar so frequently, it gets annoying. Especially when you're literally playing the exact same team. When you look across the field and you're playing the exact same characters are on both sides of the field. It's pretty lame, kind of stupid, not a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, it's still fun, but it's it's whatever. Um, 
So I would love to see more characters. With that said, though, they're basically just skins. Right? We, we've seen... We look at the stats, and we have the fast players that aren't very strong. We have the slow players that aren't... Or, yeah, how should I say this? Uh, we have the strong players that aren't very fast. Nice. We have uh, the fast players that aren't very strong. And then we have the kind of more level, uh, more balanced people that are not super fast, not super slow, not super strong, not super weak, you know? And kind of all the different player types or character types are accounted for in my mind. So at this point, any new characters you're going to get, it's fun because there are more characters, but realistically, at the end of the day, they're essentially just skins on... Different skins on characters that already kind of exist in the game. Like, you're not going to get any new or, like, drastically new stat configurations from new characters. Yeah, I guess is what I'm saying. And as far as getting updates, I, I, I still welcome it. But anybody who is complaining about lack of uh, content and who left the game, they certainly didn't return to the game strictly because Daisy was added. I know a lot of people raged over Daisy not being included because she just, she was in previous games. I know a lot of people raged over that, but those same people that were raging, they didn't come back for Daisy, let's be real. If they, if they traded in their game, they put the controller down before Daisy came along, they certainly didn't rejoin once she was added. Um, same thing with Shy Guy, I don't know. Shy Guy's a welcome addition, but I don't think anybody was like, Oh, thank God! That's what the game needed. You know? The game needs, this, like, a story mode, or, like, a different kind of gameplay. Something that's just, like, like time-consuming. That's fun, because the gameplay itself is so fun. It's just, like... You need more ways to play it. More different ways to play it. Like, you can only replay this, the cup battles uh, over and over again how many times. Eh. Yeah. You can only replay the same cup battles over and over again so many times before you're like, ugh, cup battles. The different, the thing that would be, like, perpetually different would be online multiplayer, but like I already expressed my kind of disinterest uh, in playing that. Uh, for my personal reasons, you know, being trash. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd love there to be a single-player story mode. Where you get the, the gameplay, but you have a reason to keep playing, not just trying to complete a cup that you already completed a hundred times, you know? But I see this game... I see this game kind of similarly to see how I see Mario Kart in that if I have friends over and we're sitting on the couch and we're trying to figure out what to play, this is a great option, right? Just couch multiplayer in Mario Strikers Battle League is a lot of fun. But the online multiplayer just doesn't have the same kind of appeal that like a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe does. Uh, and maybe that's just for me. I'm sure there are plenty of real sweaty gamers out there that just really get their jollies kicking noobs like me all the way out of the arena <laughs> uh, in Battle League Online. But, I don't know. It's just not for me. But I also wouldn't just like outright say it's a terrible game because of the, uh, the lack of content either. Do I think maybe it should have been, you know, value like priced differently? Maybe priced below sixty dollars. Yeah, I think it. I think it stands to reason. I think like Nintendo Switch Sports is comparable uh, in pricing, at least. Like Nintendo Switch Sports was what fifty bucks, I think, as opposed to the sixty bucks price tag that's on most uh, first-party Nintendo games. I think. I think this would have been a little bit better off. I got him, Malarkey. I think this game would have fared a little bit better if it was a little bit cheaper, for sure. 40, maybe 50 bucks. Just to show a good faith, like, you know, we know this isn't a full-blown game. 
uh, with all the content you'll find in other Nintendo games. Oh god, I think I just blew it. Oh no, it's all good. Game ended. Victory is ours. But I guess I guess that's my overall review. My overall review is the game is a lot of fun. Is there a, a glaring lack of content? For sure. Would I, in hindsight, be looking to get this game, a copy of this game, at a lower price point than the original $60 retail? Absolutely. If you can find it for cheaper, definitely aim for cheaper. I mean, that's obvious of anything, of any game ever. But if you can get it for cheaper, go for it. Um, would I say it's still worth the $60? I would say it depends on who you are and what you're trying to do with it. Victory is mine. I would say it depends on what you're looking for in the game. If you're looking for a really, really fun game to sit down and just play couch multiplayer with your friends and your family, I would say this game is absolutely for you. Um, if you're looking for online multiplayer and you're like a casual player, I would say this game is probably not for you. Uh, maybe it's gotten better, and let, let me know if I'm wrong in the comments. Let me know if you've had, if you're like a casual player and you've had some success online. Uh, I played a, a couple of hours of it and was just getting constantly stomped, um, against every competitor I played. And at that point, it was like the peak of me playing, and I wasn't bad. Like, I was clearing through Galactic Cups, uh, not with ease, but with relative ease, and I was getting absolutely annihilated. Like, there was no competition. Is what I'm talking about uh, on online multiplayer. So maybe I just got a handful of really, really sweaty dudes uh, <laughs> online that were just in prime position to kick my butt. But I don't know. I don't know. It just wasn't for me. It turned me off of online multiplayer, and I haven't really been back since, admittedly. Um, so if you're looking for that and you're a casual player, maybe look elsewhere. If you're looking for a great story mode, it's completely absent, as it always has been, let's be real. Uh, there's never been a story mode, per se, in Mario Strikers games, so I, I don't know why you would be expecting that in the first place. Um, yeah, I would say... I would recommend you get it below asking price, if at all possible, and get it with the knowledge that this is a game that you're going to play almost strictly. Um as like a, a couch multiplayer game, like a party game type of thing. It's a lot of fun going into it with that mindset. There is finesse to it. There's a lot more finesse to it uh, than in previous Mario Strikers games. So keep that in mind as well. If you're coming off of Mario Strikers Charged, like I was, like, I mean, like every Mario Strikers fan uh, was really. Um, if you're coming off of that, be aware that there's a lot more finesse. You're not just gonna be slamming and bamming people into walls taking the ball and, you know, driving it to the net. Uh, there's a lot more different types of passing, different types of tackling, charge tackling, charge passing, charged shooting. Uh, it's not quite as easy to score goals. It's also not quite as easy to defend. Uh, there's tackling, there's dodging, there's all kinds of cool stuff involved. So if you wanna if you wanna get good, power to you, but it's gonna take more to get good than previous games. Um, that's what I'll say. Overall, overall, speaking from my heart, speaking from the truth, I love the game. There's a glaring lack of content. It is what it is. And there are some, there are some upgrades, like the finesse. I think that's an upgrade. There are some downgrades, uh, like the, the actual arenas that you play in. They suck. They're stupid. They're not even relevant. I don't even know why it asks you um, to select one. But... It is what it is. There's my championship cup victory. Uh, it's actually my second one. I've, I've beaten this before. But with that said, let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are on Mario Strikers Battle League. I know it's pretty torn down the middle. You're some people that really like it. There are some people that hate it with a passion. Um, but I don't think I don't think the updates. I think there are more updates planned. I think they're going to be cosmetic updates similar to what we've already seen. The addition of a couple more arena types, which is garbage like don't even just miss me with it i don't need to see it it's stupid they don't they don't contribute at all so i don't care if that's what you're gonna throw at me uh more characters though are always welcome like i said it's kind of a moot point they're basically just skins over pre-existing stat types um or stat configurations but that's fine 
you know, more more faces, more fresh faces is always welcome. Uh, yeah. So, with all that said, that's my opinion. That's my final review of Mario Strikers Battle League. There will be more Battle League content here on the channel because I genuinely love the game. Um, but, you know, yeah. I'm the Nintendo Beast. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and ring that bell for notifications for when I do live streams here on the channel every single weekend now. And uh, when I upload new video content, such as this, every single weekday, Monday through Friday of every single week. We are back here uh, uploading new content every day, so I'm excited about that. And uh, I'm ramping up my number of live streams, like I said before, also, so I'm excited about that as well. Uh, Nintendo Beast 2.0 is in full, in full swing here on the channel. Uh... If you haven't already, make sure to smash the like button on this video and leave me a comment in the comment section below, like I said before. But until next time, I am the Nintendo Beast. Thank you so much for watching.